a desolate mark, a ruler of none. You blundered your soul, you welcomed life sin. You ignored your son, your self made demise, your self made demise, and now you're marking on Damn, she's free, taunting God. Sin is equal.
Welcome to the Pop Off Podcast. I'm Derek. I'm RJ. And we're here with Hila. Hila. So, so you want to introduce yourselves? I'm Kogan. I'm the vocalist and rhythm guitarist. I'm Troy. I play the drums. I'm Andrew. I play bass guitar. And I'm Austin. I play lead guitar. So Hila kind of has like a Spanish H on there, a little <laughs> A Gila in the thing, not not like a Gila, but the Gila monster obviously is what this is coming from, yeah. like some cool reptilian lizard, dangerous venomous bite type thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, what was the inspiration? Was that it? Well, so we actually had a name change, kind of recently. Uh, we used to be called Rockadillians, as you can see on the shirt. I did see that. Um, that was pretty cool. We used to be called Rockadillians, but that was when we were like like a smaller local band. And so we wanted to leave Tallahassee and, you know, take things more seriously as a band. We changed it, but we wanted to keep the, like, fun reptile theme. But we thought Hilo was more, like, easy to say, roll off the tongue better, sound more badass, you know? Yeah, and something about, like, four-letter band names, like, mm -hmm. short, they're just, they're cool. Yeah. But I appreciate you guys, as you mentioned, driving down here, coming to Tampa. Hell We're yeah. actually playing tonight at Deviant Libation. I know this will be uh, this will be out afterwards, but we're rocking out tonight. I'm sure you all have seen the promotions online already. But I appreciate you guys playing this gig with us. And like I said, coming to the podcast, I understand this is part of your EP tour. So oh that's yeah. part of the reason why you're making the trip down here. You want to talk about the EP and then and where you plan on playing else with this tour? I would love to talk about the EP Harbinger, which is actually, that's me. That's me in the cover. I don't know if you guys have seen the cover. In the cover with the mask over that's his face? That's me. It's him in the mask. My friend, me and my friend taped. We didn't tape. We got pins. What are they called? The pins that like, Bobby pin? Bobby no, pins. not bobby pins. It's not safety pins. The like paper pin. I don't know. Push it's pins. like put no. Wait, push yes, pins. push pins. We got push pins, and we push pinned a black sheet, in it, like against the wall, and I sat in it, and we took photos of me shirtless wearing <laughs> a mask, <laughs> and it turned out pretty fire, but. Uh, it was very promiscuous when we were when we were making it. Gotta get that sex appeal on there, you know. Yeah. Like sex sells, as they say. There's a lot of different uh, shots that did not make it to the to we the edited, harbinger. Did, like, Thirty different edited <laughs> oh versions. Who was the idea on that? Or did you spearhead the artistic direction, um, or did they just tell you what to do? But what happened was I didn't. We were making one, <laughs> one, uh, EP <laughs> cover, which was just a KFC. Like like <laughs> it was like a spider hanging from a tree, and there was a KFC in the background. We like edited it. It looked, it looked kind of cool, I but it like wasn't like metal enough. I didn't like it. I'm like, th we need something cooler than this. And then my friend was there, and he's like, do you want to just make one cooler? I'm like, yeah. And then we're like, dude, let's get shirtless and put on a mask <laughs> and <laughs> push pin a, push pin sheets to the wall and take pictures. And then we did, and we turned out pretty hype, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big <laughs> fan of the DIY stuff. That's pretty cool. Those songs that you play now, those are all from your EP? Yeah, there's uh, a, there's one more on there, but we didn't play that today. No, that's more cool. And I could hear the first one, the influences. You guys have a sick classic rock style, um, but definitely heavy and grunge, too. I like when you did some straight instrumental stuff. What was uh, the inspiration? Any of those songs, like, stick out to you guys? Any, any cool stories with that? Yeah, so when we started the band, we had, like, a whole, like, story idea for, like, an album that we eventually wanted to plan to write. And so slowly, as we've been writing songs, we've been trying to like fill the like slots in the story. But like for example, the um the last song we played, which is called "Waltz on Their Graves," that was one we wrote like outside of the storyline and like managed to throw in. Um, talk, talk a little bit about that one. That was I actually like that one quite a bit. That you did the last one. So uh, that one's about it's about a, a large sum of people, but like more specifically, like a a group of guys back from our hometown who uh who were not the best of people and weren't the biggest the fans weren't of the us biggest fans of us <coughs> and so we took heavy inspiration from that turned it into a song and like really Troy and I specifically are started getting into hardcore at the time of that being written I had just gotten the seven string was dying to use it and just was like hey this sounds cool do we want to make this into something? Mm. Yeah. And we just, it all and came I together. I really think that this, like, instrumental, like, m where most of it is an instrumental, kind of, like, conveys how we handle the situation, where we, we stayed pretty quiet and we, you know, stayed professional. We weren't really 
vocal like in any way as opposed to uh, the other people. And then there's obviously the um, the vocals before the breakdown, the rip my throat out, the little quote. Um, yeah, some of the vocals and the words I heard in there were pretty good. And I understand, I appreciate you guys putting the music out there because it is tough, especially as a new band, just, just being a band in general and you're gonna have people that love you, you're gonna have some haters, uh, you may have a political thing or some message you want to get in your song, but people are going to take it their own way. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, even when we listen to music, our own favorites, everybody takes it differently. It's just having that courage to get out there and, and put out, you know, whatever you're feeling there. But that's, that's pretty bold. Oh, yeah. You mentioned the seven string, too. You guys got some pretty cool instruments. I like this one here. It looks like somebody kissed it. Somebody kissed. <laughs> what kind of? Who? Wha, who? What love was that? Do you really love your guitar, or is your girlfriend <laughs> not want to forget about you, or that did you? You know what? What happened there? That was a little Valentine's Day gift from my girlfriend. <laughs> it actually has a uh, uh, an inside joke uh, between us written on the back of it. Um, well, yeah, she that. she went out. She bought a plain white Jackson for me, and then spent a few weeks doing this. Uh, I imagine it took her a very very long time. <laughs> She worked very hard on all, it. all the kisses that, that she wants to give you, right? Yes, of yeah. course. <laughs> yeah, letting them other ladies know. <laughs> Sorry, this rock star is <laughs> taken. He's taken. No, that's sweet. Well, cool. So, like I said, we're rocking out tonight. These guys are going to be on tour promoting their stuff. Please go support a live show. Where can they find you guys? Obviously, you just put the EP out. Yeah, Where is that so, uh, streaming? That'll be on everything. Spotify, Apple Music, uh, if, uh, Amazon Music. Pandora, and if you still use No that. one uses Pandora, no but it's on there. But it's there. I used it since December, but, you know. <laughs> um, and then you could find us, you know, our shows and uh, other stuff on our social medias. Um, Facebook and uh, Instagram at Gila.fl, which is G-I-L-A dot F-L. And I don't think, I believe a TikTok, I think. YouTube? It I said Facebook. Oh, you did? Yeah. We YouTube. We YouTube is important. Because the TikTok see is this not on YouTube. Yes. Like, subscribe, share yes. this around with yep. your friends. I'll put a link to all this stuff in the description. And, and uh, yeah, go support live music. Oh, yes. Thanks, everybody.